Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Recent Things, and in today's episode, I am going to be making this Scandinavian-inspired standing wreath. Why don't we just jump right in, get started, and I'll show you how I made it. What I am going to be using today is almost everything here. I have this little wood block, I have the embroidery hoop wreath, I have some of these baubles that I got from the dollar store, some lights, this awesome looking deer ornament that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have these little sticks that are kind of goldy glitter and a whole bunch of gold glitter baubles. So let's get to it. I'm starting off with my little wood base and it's about four and a quarter by four and a quarter square. And I'm using the inside hoop of the embroidery wreath and that's about 14 inches. And I'm just kind of figuring out right now where I want to glue this down. And I think I'm just gonna glue it in the back part because I want the deer to go right in the front. And I'm using no nails glue. I'm gonna throw a little dab on there. And then I'm gonna throw a couple of dabs of hot glue just to make sure it holds. And then I'm just gonna push it down clean it up a little bit and then once that all happens I'm gonna let it dry completely. And while that is drying I have my deer ornament and I already love this clear but I am going to use some white acrylic paint to do a base coat on the deer. Now, funny story about the deer. <laughs> I did the white base coat and then I painted it all gold because I wanted this golden black theme. And you'll see in the video later on, I kind of put the gold deer down and it didn't really work. So I'm basically primed it here. Once I finished priming it, I let that completely dry, kind of throw it off to the side and then I move on. Now that my glue is all dry on my wood, I am gonna start painting the stand and the circle all black. Now again, these are the colors I'm choosing today. If you wish to use different colors, that is totally okay. You don't have to follow exactly what I do. I just wanted to create this black and gold inspired Scandinavian standing wreath. I thought it would have been so cool in the black and the gold. And all I'm doing is I'm just painting everything, the hoop, the base, the sides of the base, and the bottom I just let it be because nobody's going to see the bottom so I don't paint that. And once I get it all done I'm just going to put that to the side and my deer is going to dry and the black paint on the base will all dry and then in the meantime I'll do something else. So here is my deer, I painted it gold. It came out pretty good, but later on, I don't, I didn't actually film it, but I did paint it black. And now it's time for our lights. These are just fairy lights. You can see them all over at the dollar stores, even when, you know, the holiday season isn't here. So they just, this, these ones just take two AA batteries. I'm gonna throw them in and before I attach it all, I wanna make sure they work. And boom, they do work, yay! <laughs> so now I'm gonna try to decide, after I unravel it and untangle it, I'm gonna decide where I want my little battery pack. I thought maybe at the back I'll put it here, underneath, because I've done that before in a previous project. I thought maybe I'll just put it on the top here, because the baubles will cover it anyways. And then finally I decide, you know what? No, I don't like any of that, I'm gonna put it at the bottom. And once I decide that, I'm just gonna throw some hot glue on the bottom of that little battery pack, and then I'm gonna attach it in the little alcove underneath so it's all nice and hidden. And that thick cord that comes right out of the battery pack was creating a little bit of unevenness with the stand. So what I decided to do was just take some hot glue and I'm gonna wrap the thick part of the cord just underneath such that it's all hidden it's not going to wobble the stand at all and then the only part that's going to stick out is the actual 
very thin wire where the fairy lights are. So I was much happier with that rather than having that thick cord pop out. And once I get that all down and in place, I'm just gonna let that all dry for a bit. I am all dry with the glue. And now what I'm gonna do is just to kind of anchor it, I'm gonna wrap it around that one section that meets the base. That way, just make sure it's there and in place, not gonna go anywhere. And then I'm just gonna put a very small dab of hot glue down. My gold baubles are gonna cover all of that, so I'm not really worried about that showing. Now, the lights, because I didn't choose to bring my bubbles all the way around the hoop, my lights are just kind of twisted around. I try to make the stripes, I guess, as even as possible when I'm doing this, because it is going to be exposed. You do see it. But once you see it at the end, it doesn't really look that bad at all. I actually kind of like the look of it. If it was a gold strand, I would have been so much happier because everything would have matched. But I do have a little bit left over when I get to the bottom here, you'll see in a moment. I'm actually just going to glue it down, hold that in place as well. And then I'm just going to bring that little extra over to the other side underneath where I started and wrap it around again just to give it a little bit more lights on that one side because that's where that is the one side where all the baubles are going to go so i thought it would be kind of cool if i had extra lights there and it was extra bright shining through those baubles so i'm just going to twist that around and at the end put a little more hot glue down my battery pack is all good to go let's test it yay we have lights <laughs> These are the packs of ornaments that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're different sizes, they're different textures. I have glitter, I have matte. So I wanted different sizes, different colors, different textures. That's gonna add a lot of interest to your piece. So when you're shopping, shop for different color or different sizes, textures. And then I take those little hook loops off the top. Now for the first one to glue down, and I always get nervous <laughs> when I do, when I start something like this. Um, <laughs> so if you get nervous, don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> I always wanna make sure it looks good. So when I do something like this, I do just kind of take my time with this. It's all sped up right now, but I do take my time with it. I kind of figure out where I'm gonna go with all of this, take my time, think about it, and then I start gluing it all down. I mean, hot glue can be removed, sometimes not so easily, sometimes you do damage your project, but it can be corrected. But I just wanna make sure I don't have to unglue everything. <laughs> and there we go, I'm just putting them together. I'm starting with a couple of bigger ones, adding some small ones as I go. Every now and then I pick up the stand, kinda of take a look at it, at a different angle, see where I should go next. And here I am just kind of taking a look at it, figuring out where everything's going to go. And I do start off with the larger pieces, cluster it all together, and then towards the end I use the smaller pieces, kind of taper it off a little bit. And adding some final pieces down. Here is where I'm kind of figuring out where and what I want to do next. I put the deer on and as you can see the deer doesn't really, the gold deer doesn't really do it justice so I'm kind of contemplating whether I should add some more gold. I use these kind of gold glittery icicles, ornament, they're ornaments actually, um, and I'm trying to figure out where I want to put them, what I want to do with them. I thought maybe sticking them within the cluster would be cool but I didn't end up really liking that. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll just hang them up over here off center a little bit. And then I took a look at it and I was like, mm, I don't really like that. I tried the baubles at the bottom again. I'm gonna bring the deer back in a second. <laughs> so this is my whole process is I'm just kind of fiddling around with everything. And before I even glue anything down, I try to figure out what I wanna do. So here's the deer, it kind of, gets lost in the gold, it doesn't match with the gold. So this is kind of when I decided I'm gonna paint that deer. But here's my bubbles, all done, all attached. 
I'm so happy about it. And there's that painted deer that I just painted. It's a matte black. So it was the same deer. I just went back with black acrylic paint, painted it all. And now I'm just gonna take my hot glue and I'm gonna attach that to the base. And once I do that and let it dry, we are all done with our Scandinavian inspired standing wreath. Here it is in all its glory. I did a little setup for it. I just love how this turned out. I am so happy with the black and the gold. I'm so excited that I painted that deer black and everything worked out in the end. I know black is not for everybody during the holidays, but I love this black and gold combo, especially at night, as you can see here, when the lights are on, it just looks so beautiful. And I'm so, so happy with it. So glittery, so festive, so much fun and a little bit of twinkle as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun making this little wreath stand. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching again. Take care. Bye for now.